so scenario 8 will be uh, dark souls mode of scenario 4 i think because just like scenario 4 you have to build a zoo from scratch but this time you are having even lesser funds like about 40k in the beginning as opposed to scenario 4's 80k that being said your first thing you need to do is just like scenario 4 you need to set up the staff buildings animal trading center quarantine staff rooms wet surgery and research center that's it no workshop for this one now after that after you set up the animal trading center and hire at least one of each a vet a caretaker a keeper and a vet that's all you need in the beginning and yes power down power it the f staff buildings you mean i mean the with the generators same goes for the exhibits power it with the generators and as soon as you get the animal trading center you will get four reward animals two snow leopards one of each gender and two okapis one of each gender so for the time being ignore the okapis build a habitat around the snow leopard and yeah do not forget to remove the toxic waste barrels that is required for bronze now just to show you guys how they look like they look like this look at them carefully and removing them costs you 1.2k so don't you know don't remove them all at once just the ones in the little pit over here it's more like a crater because it's an old mining thing it's more like a crater, the big crater over here. Just remove the toxic waste barrels from here. And on one side, let's just make a snow leopard habitat at first. Fill it with coolers, then change the terrain to snow, all that stuff. And have your wet begin researching on snow leopard as soon as you place them in the habitat place the animals I mean build a keeper hut over here so that both the keepers of the okapi and the snow leopard get easy access to their habitats like I said before you don't have to bother with the okapi at first just make the snow leopard enclosure because out of the okapi and the snow leopards the snow leopard will net you a lot more guests which are required for the bronze rating 350 guests and you are running on a budget so you need your guests to always be in the green on the happiness so just make the snow leopard enclosure at first and also the reason I made those walls high enough is because snow leopards like to climb these shelters and from there they can leap outside which is a pain because since you are running on a budget how many times will you afford to emergency capture them right now after your snow leopards are done all you have to do is play the waiting game wait for a while for your cash to come in to gain at least 40k in the meantime have your wait no, have your wet sorry sorry for the 
accent. Have you wet research? Snow leopards as quickly as possible. Get the snow leopard research to at least a level where the food and the toy enrichments are unlocked. See? This is the food enrichment, these both and those ball thingies are the toy enrichments. So, once that is done you can fulfill the snow leopard's welfare to 100% by that. Also you can now put up boards, education boards and speakers. Remember they have to be pow powered up so place power stations at regular intervals but away from the guests so that the mood does not go in the red. Now <laughs> build a walkway like this so the guests can see both the enclosures and once your budget hits 40k then you can actually afford to you know make the okapi habitat now don't bother with this big shelter at first because the okapis will be the only animals living in it so this shelter this medium sized shelter is okay right and also don't bother with the lake at first because if you will have the lake you will need the water treatment plant so don't bother with it use the terrain tool to your advantage and you know remove all the water in the lake at first that will give the oak up is more room to you know move around that being said the same thing as earlier goes remove all the toxic waste barrels in this area only in the area sur uh, surrounding the enclosure now again have your wet research on okapis the same wet just cancel his snow leopard research and have him research okapis. Once you're done with that, at about two or three levels we need of it. Five levels. So four levels I guess. We'll get food and toy enrichment for the okapi, which will make them in the green welfare. Green animal welfare. So your guests will be more happy and you can get more information on the education boards. A win-win situation since by the, by the time you do this, the inspector will come visiting. Now she won't do on the spot fines for anything if you have both species animal welfare in the green. So you don't need to worry about that just yet. Once that is done, now the third animal, you will have to buy it, obviously. So it's up to you guys. You can actually buy boars, warthogs I mean, warthogs, or you can splurge just a little bit, have a water treatment plant in here and by flamingos they are the they are two of the cheapest animals found in the map so yeah look here the flamingos either way if you buy flamingos you'll have to place them in the okapi's enclosure if you buy warthogs you'll have to make a big enclosure because then you can fit more species in that which we'll get to that later it's up to you 
You can buy flamingos at the end too. It doesn't matter at this point. Just buy either of the two. Warthogs or flamingos. I would recommend warthogs because you will get a feel of the enclosure in the beginning. And also assign a keeper each for every habitat. Like one for snow leopard, one for the okapi enclosure and one for warthogs. As always build the shelter a bit away from the fences barriers so that they don't jump out. Warthogs won't but you can't say the same for the other species we're gonna put in the map. Also keep an eye on your budget. At least wait for about 20 minutes before making the bow or I mean warthog enclosure. After you're, after you're done with providing enrichments and Getting the overall welfare of the Okapis to 100% or in the green if you want to call it like that. Anyway, wait for 20 minutes before building the boar uh, war talking future. Why am I calling it boar today? So that your cash flows in and with the snow leopard being in your zoo, your cash will flow in. You just have to be a bit patient and not get trigger happy with the fast forward button this time. Do not ever use the fast forward button this time. Now, the thing I did was I placed all the staff buildings on one side of the enclosures and I placed walkways on the other side. So the guest happiness is not generally affected. As you can see, the only thing that affects my guest happiness is this one, right here. And it's minimal at the best. It's only this little arc over here. This does affect happiness, but guests only started using the gondola in the gold scenario. So you don't have to worry about that right now. Anyway. That being said, the warthog enclosure. They will need some coverage and plants, so make sure to do that. After you're done uh, and uh, researching food and toy enrichments for the warthogs, wait a while, about 20 minutes before buying ostriches, because they get a species enrichment bonus. You see here. Interspecies bonus. <laughs> now, since there are two animals, they get an interspecies bonus of 20%. There is another animal which we'll get to that later, so the interspecies bonus overall is 40%. Anyway, that being done. Now the third animal is again up to you. You can only after you're done with only after you're done with the ostrich, the third animal will be either the African buffalo or the sword to water crocodiles. Oh, you can go for cheaper ones, obviously. See, the other cheaper option from other than saltwater crocodiles is bad stapper, which you can place over here. But I wanted to show you how the toxic barrels look like, so I didn't place them right here. Instead, I opted to use that water enclosure for the saltwater crocodiles. And also because I like saltwater crocodiles. I love my crocs. Not the footwear, the actual animals. Just make sure that every animal's welfare is in the green because the 
inspector will visit several times and you need to do that the rescue animals are just the what do you call it the okapis and the snow leopard so once you adopt them both you will have completed this objective and you just need to remove one toxic barrel to complete complete this ob objective 350 guests will come in a bit gradually though because there is an endangered species on in your zoo the snow leopard guests love to watch endangered species cash in on that all right now you can either place an information center over here or a drink stall it's up to you give the guests a bit of variety eh? a bit of refreshment now the salt water crocodile enclosure i made that with the terrain tool I use the water thingy to get the water level just a bit above normal. The water level was about up till this little bush's length. This one. Only up till here. So I increase the level just beyond it. That's it. So it gives the saltwater crocs a bit of swimming room. The same as before, have your vet researching saltwater crocs so you can provide enrichments and other stuff. Though, since you have done the snow leopards, I guess the food enrichments are the same for crocs too. That being said, I guess that's 8 species done for your zoo. So you will actually get up to gold for this. Eight habitat species in the zoo. That's one of the silver requirements done. 600 guests will start coming. You just have to be a bit, you know, relaxed about it. Don't get trigger happy with the fast forward button. Also, also, get the animals with the highest appeal <coughs> and that is why I was telling you to save up <coughs> between building enclosures wait for at least 20 minutes so the cash flows in and you can adopt better animals you can of course adopt elephants instead of the water buffalo and build them an enclosure somewhere here or on that side up to you They will get you a lot of cash, but the elephants in this scenario will have to be brought with have to be bought with conservation credits. So yeah, there's that. Anyway, that being done, notice the pathways I took for each enclosure. Most are overhead pathways with this one. The saltwater enclosure and the panda enclosure being the exceptions. I had a mechanic by that time because yeah the power stations and water treatment plants will begin to break down eventually. So you need a mechanic to fix that stuff. Also for maintaining the barrier status because sometimes there are vandals in the zoo even if your guests are in the green the little shits will screw up your enclosures your education boards and that in this scenario you cannot afford to hire a security guard this is a version this is my version of a cost effective zoo now for, for the gondola, this one will take a bit of time, so listen carefully. 
first of all place the gondola you can fi find it in the facilities and transport rides the very last one the blue thing over here once you place it you'll get the option to edit track by now you should be easily able to edit tracks have them go over all or most of your habitat enclosures since it's more like you know a traveling in the air thing suspended thing make the tracks it's not that hard you did it in the african scenario right it's the same left click for putting the track or enter for putting the track that right left button to change the direction of the track right or left the up down option to maintain the height or lower the height of the track and unlike the what do you call it adventure rides in scenario 5 I guess the African scenario you have to build an entrance gate uh, and an exit gate and power the whole thing so you need a power transformer too so this was my exit gate and this was my entrance gate that being done once you are, you have built the gondola and have powered it up this will this requirement will be fulfilled and after getting 600 guests which will have to wait for a while that requirement will be fulfilled too so by now you should have done the silver thing for the gold the yearly profit after you get the panda and the snow leopards the yearly profit will eventually increase enemy so you don't have to worry about that much just focus on maintaining order in the zoo and you know focus on maintaining the animal overall animal welfare of each species the hell is the panda though yeah it sometimes likes to climb the trees so yeah it's best to put the panda in the end lest he escapes from those trees the inspection rating you'll always get about four stars if your all your animals are in the green she gives you five stars for each one depending on the overall animal welfare so that is why i suggested to put both food and toy enrichments in each habitat this way even if the education rating goes down your animal welfare is in the green so you will get about four stars for each inspection visit and finally the giant panda the giant panda you'll get again in the reward section so you'll have to put him in quarantine and then make a habitat for him again he requires a lot of plants and coverage so take care of that all right and make the shelter a bit away from the barrier <laughs> just in case ignore this this was a blunder on my part this bed thingy suspended in the air once you're done with that you will get the yearly profit and the panda adoption thing and I just told you how to get the zoo inspection thing right if you're having trouble with the gondola you can comment down in the section because I guess that's all the tricks I have to give you just be patient even more so than you were in scenario 4 
and if it makes you feel any better this was my third or fourth attempt at this scenario the one in which i actually nailed gold in the other scenarios i was barely able to get bronze in the other attempts i mean i was barely able to get bronze this was my third or fourth attempt in this in which i was able to get gold and it worked like a charm i just was a bit patient and a bit stingy on my money so yeah conserve your money and stuff get your animal welfare overall welfare in the green and just maintain order in the zoo don't let vandals break your stuff don't let the staff buildings or the facilities be broken down keep your animals happy keep your guests happy and you'll eventually cross this scenario with gold just be patient and do not panic mainly do not panic because sometimes people like me do panic when the cash goes down a bit and most of all in this scenario even though you are tempted to take the 50k loan in the beginning do not take it i cannot stress this enough do not take this one because the interest rate is very high and you'll just be bankrupted just be patient and you may not even need to take loans i certainly didn't so if you are as patient as me so you will be able to do the same that is get the gold without taking any loans just be very patient about this one and just a fair warning since one of my friends has played this played the future scenarios it only gets more difficult from here so it's a very steep climb up ahead just prepare yourself i'm not you know scaring you off or anything just prepare yourself for more difficult scenarios this was a bit easier compared to that also also keep the barrels away from any enclosure at all times because animals get sick from that all right that's all the tip, tips and tricks for this one if you have any questions or queries you want to ask or if you're having trouble with the gondola just message me or comment down in the section below and i'll solve your problems i'm always here to answer your problems so don't worry too much about it all right i hope this helped you guys and if it did please leave a like comment if it helped you and subscribe if you haven't already Thanks for watching and take care guys